Dragon, you hoser, <laughs> you better puff and pass. Geralt of Rivier here. What say you, Dragon? <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to get Roach out of a tree. Good luck on the path. We's going to get silly, bitches. Y'all asked and we wanted to deliver. How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. I am Great Stone Dragon. And in today's video, I'm taking the footage of me and my best friend Bark watching Grins, the tale of Jenny and Screech. Not only do we watch it, we also get very, very high and then watch it and give our opinions and other stoner ramblings throughout. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all you Ren fans for all the love and support you've poured into my into my channel. It's been amazing, and I am just very, very blessed and very fortunate. Thank you so much. All right, without further ado, here's our reaction to the tale of Jenny and Screech. This has got to be the most requested reaction from all the renegades in my comment section. The, the tale of Jenny and Screech. I've got King Bark with me. I. I am. How are you? Fuck you. <laughs> Speaking of, though, we're going to do the thing before we start watching this Ren video. Thanks for being here, you guys. Yes. Right, <coughs> yes, I am going to go after that one. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> and this is a 13 and a half minute long video. It's got three parts. But don't all videos have multiple parts then? Shut up, bark. It's three songs in one. So, so we got an intermission so I can like grab popcorn in between. No. No. We got really baked, so now we watch the whole video. Okay. And maybe we take intermissions and get popcorn. <laughs> we can do that. I yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not opposed. You don't have popcorn. Yeah, I'm more of like a I'd rather have like a candy or something cuz popcorn I I've gotten so tired of the Things get stuck in your teeth, and you're just like, man, I'd regret this decision. Those chewy caramel snacks from a uh, food line are pretty good, though. You're a food lion. Yeah, man. Full of wieners. Well, you're a food lion <laughs> full of dicks. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about penises or like guys named Dick? Because like, <laughs> either way, that sucks, and I just want to know how bad I'm dealing with, you know? Guys named Dick. Fuck. I hear those guys are dicks. Guys named Dick who are dicks. <laughs> Dick Dickly. <laughs> All right, let's let's watch the video. I'm sorry. I'm very high. <laughs> <laughs> it starts a countdown with the end. I don't know. Listen to that. Oh shit. Pause. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Let's freaking go! I paused it! Everybody said I needed to start pausing the thing and go back five seconds, and I'm doing it! Ah! Pretty sure moving like that short in your life, man. Yeah, dude, I think I just got three more gray hairs. Grandpa. Oh, How did I get winded off of that? I need to <laughs> You just moved your arms! <laughs> I'm like the bird who almost can't fly. I just wanted to stop it. And so I don't talk over the video and say, Ren's got some killer guitar chops, dude. He can shred. I know an yeah. acoustic too. That's he was playing in a, 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 a classical acoustic in the high Ren video, which that's a whole different monster. And now he is. Standard. It's a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at London City Ooh. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame 
Well on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Siren sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes wow. What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade With the teeth that could bite through steel And slice concrete And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night In an empty street Somewhere at London City Jenny lay still on the cold concrete She's far out somewhere to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped it's such a shame. This is a different side of Rin, man. Okay, so I guess that was part one. That was... All right, hold on. Pause. Uh, are you going to say pause every time you pause? I'm guessing that was the tale of Screech. Or maybe that was Ginny's tale. I don't know. But either way, that was very different. I'm used to him yeah. rapping. This was him singing. I think that's that bardcore that we we saw in some of the comments. Bardcore? Yeah, that uh, that's apparently his genre, his oh. own specific genre. I did not see that in the comments, man. I well, must have apparently that. I pay closer attention. You may be right. I may be crazy. I really dug it. I'm excited to see where this goes. He is a very good <laughs> storyteller. Like to do it musically like that. Very interesting, yeah. yeah. Given Dandelion from The Witcher vibes, except like not as lame and more cool. Which I love Dandelion. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to talk shit, but he is. He's a he's a tool. <laughs> you love him, but you hate him. But you love him. Um. Anyways, this isn't about The Witcher. This is about Ren. <laughs> My bad. Uh, All right, we're getting back into it. Wait, Bart, do you have any thoughts that you wanted to put into it? It was very nice. Uh, okay, here we go. start out sounding like Christmas carols kind of do it oh he's doing it <laughs> bass melter Let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man I'm not sure, I got crazy Left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man I can't knock no more 
a screech Kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain For the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind That does away Uh oh Hey babe, are you in? Now nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets and they call me fucking Screech Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Working London on the night shift What he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest Oh shit Ooh He's down Check his pulse oh. Story it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Ooh, got them runs. Damn. Yeah. That was an ending. Pause. Shit. Uh, Pause. This has been an epic tale already. It's got its ups, it's got its downs, it's got primarily downs, but it's very well told and kind of like super captivating. What do you think, Bork? Yes. <laughs> this was a great one to get this high and watch, man. It, it's it's uh yeah. it's it's got me drawn in, that's for sure. My thing though is I'm I'm surprised nobody stuck their head out of like a forced story window and be like hey shut the fuck up <laughs> i'm trying to freaking sleep because he i mean he's got some he's belting it he's belting it real loud and it looks late but i like it i mean it's sad they're dead what do you mean sad he's a murderer that's true but like it's they're dead both of them they're both dead yeah that's sad two people died why can't that be sad i mean the first one was sad the second one was justice crustus <laughs> Uncrustables. Yo, the I would lie. love one of those right now. Alright, let's do this last one. Oh, he's getting another rip in. I want to get another rip in. Yes. Let us see where this tale goes. Oh, I imagine it's to the ending. Violet's tale. Who's Violet? Ooh, he's got the classical guitar again. Hold on, pause. I'm excited to see how him switching from the acoustic guitar to now the classical acoustic guitar changes the tone of the story being told. And who the hell is Violet? Your mother. Violet Beauregard from a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Schmip it. It, it looks like Lemony Snicket. That's, I don't even know what Lemony Snicket looks like. I'm pretty sure that's like a... Damn it, now I gotta know what Lemony Snicket looks like. <laughs> now that I have the power... I, I wondered that as a kid when I read the, some of those books. 
Whoa. Lemony Snicket looks way different than I thought he would. I don't know. I just pictured some quirky looking dude like Count Olaf would look like. Nah, it's kind of like when you saw Charles Martinet, the the voice of Mario, and you're just like, uh, oh, <laughs> hey, dad, <laughs> how's it going? It's just wild that now I know what Lemony Snicket looks like. Yeah, man, you found somebody older than you. <laughs> this is a weird day for me, man. <laughs> what? Okay, but this is about Ren. How did we get here? I don't know. We watched two other videos. That's true. It got very, very high. But so far, now Jenny and Screech are dead. Womp womp. R.I.P. And we're going to learn about Violet. That's how we got to Lemony Snicket. Violet Beauregard. Okay. Sorry. This in high rin. Oh, it says bed three, violet right there. London City, far from pretty, two. Zero, zero, five, a lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains, she saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. What a way to transport time right there. Silent girl grew up with violent stars. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme. Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie, and he was a little prick. <laughs> Violet was That's a you, silent Bart. girl, and Violet, she fell fast. <laughs> See, Stevie was a wrong, and but he sure knew how to charm her. Every night he Talk a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself. He paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance. Ooh. The devil comes to dance. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, wow. blood black bone, crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. 
Uh oh. Not one word. She stays quiet. Ah, now I'm bringing it back in time to where it started. That's such a cool way to do that. Wow. London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City, far from pretty. Two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive. A tragedy or a miracle? It happened on these very streets. Two twins aligned side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. Wow. Oh, shit. What a twist. Uh, is this Ren or is this M. Night Shyamalan? What? Sorry. So Violet is Jenny and Screech's mom. Yeah. Jenny and Screech are brother and sister because that's how that works. Well, I mean, if they have the same mom, yeah. You're right. You're right. What a tragedy. Yeah. Told in such an incredible way. Ren's a fucking actor, dude. Like, not only did he sing it and play it, he brought it to life just by the way he sang it and his facial, uh, his, his 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 facial expressions and his movements, his mannerisms. They told the story. So, yeah, you saying Bardcore? Totally get it. This this tells that story. It, it, this paints him as such. It's rad. Yeah. What do you think, Bark? I think it was very good, very well made. And apparently he does all of like the shooting of the videos and everything, like just like with his friends. They kind of like homebrew all of it. Oh shit. So that's pretty sick, dude. Like to be to be such a grassroots project, I've got like mad respect for Ren and everything that he's doing. It, it, like I'm just now finding out about him like you are, but like the more I learn about him, the more I'm like, dude, this guy, this guy is he's on the grind. He's killing it. Yeah. So this is that this was that was rad. I feel shook like that. It made me feel things in my chest at points. Was, there were things that were very sad. I don't like being sad. The tale of Jenny and Screech is one that I was really, really, really impressed by. I've never seen anything like it. And now that I've understood the term bard core, absolutely what Ren is. I am amazed. Where should we go next in our Ren journey? You guys know him a lot better than I do. I'm still figuring him out, and Bark just kind of shows up when I ask him to. Leave a comment with the next Ren song that you want to see us react to, or if you don't have anything and you just want to put a comment, just put the word contact. 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 And then subscribe to the channel. Bark also is a YouTuber, so he does uh, he does Magic the Gathering content. So if you're into that type of thing, his link is in the description, as well as my link tree and his link tree. Have all of our different links for our socials, Discord channels, that, all that kind of stuff. Um, check those out if you, if you feel like supporting us. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Dragon Abides.